Hey, it's your boy, Sergeant Hooked on Heroes. Uh, hit me with another brand spanking new review recap for Don Brothers episode 47 on the day episode 48 is going to premiere, of course. Uh, been very busy. <clears throat> lots and lots of stuff. Car stuff and a bunch of stuff. Anyway, so this was another awesome banger episode. Like the pretty much the entire series has been. I'm just going to say it right now. It is fascinating to me that we are this far into the series and we can still have this not only enter, as entertaining as episodes as this one is, but also a one that still is like making reveals happen and, and like putting in like lore drops. Oh my god. So the whole setup of the episode, it's called the Don Noto uh, Conference, right? So they're going to all meet together and start to talk about their alliance that the Don Brothers and the Noto want to work together. Basically, the Noto want to join the Don Brothers entirely. Now, I don't know if this means they're going to get fully like Don Brother forms, you know, Sun, you know, Sonoza brother, uh, Sononi sister, Sonoi brother, whatever that means, if that's, if that's going to happen or not. But they want to join the team. They've, they've, you know, they've gained human emotion a respect for the team, a respect for, for Taro, and a respect for not wanting to bring harm to humans, basically. And so uh, they're having this meeting, and it, it, it goes decent. There's a couple little mishaps that happen, but we'll get there. While the meeting's happening, though, Sonoshi, Sonoroku, and Sonorogo, uh, or Sonogo, whatever his name is, whatever, uh, the new Noto, basically, trio, are out causing havoc. And uh, they have this running gag of Sonoshi doing something weird, and then the other two are like, yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know why he's doing that. It feels very sitcom-like, and we'll get back to that why in a minute. But they're, like, causing mischief, making Anoni appear and stuff like that and whatever. So back to the meeting, and everybody's talking, going back and forth on what they're going to do. And uh, Sonoshi starts off with, well, first off, I want to know who you are. And he points at Kaito. He's like, I want to know what you're trying to do. He's like, me? What am I? He goes, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm a delight. <laughs> it still doesn't tell him anything about who he is or what's going on with that. If it's a Kaito from Zenkaiger or if it's this universe's version of Kaito or what's going on. Nothing. So they go back and forth and they talk about how that they're hesitant to bring them on because in their past they have hurt a lot of humans and sent them to the deletion jail place. But that recently they did use the ring of forgiveness to bring everybody back. But uh, the ones they, they eventually bring to a vote because... Uh, they're trying to, like, vote to see if they, like, all agree with them to be on the team, right? And uh, it's really funny because throughout it, uh, at one point, uh, uh, Siyoshi uh, Kijino comes up and says, basically, he's trying to be like, stop saying that Miho is a Juto. Stop talking about the Juto. She's not a Juto, blah, 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 blah. And um, Tsubasa tells him, dude, get a hold of yourself, basically. Like, yes, she is. I absolutely promise you that she is. That's exactly what happened. Natsumi is the real person. Miho is the Juto, and she's not real. And he has this whole weird, like, dream sequence in his head of, like, marrying an actual Juto and actually, like, puckering up to kiss it in the monster suit. And <coughs> he's like, no, I won't believe it. I, I can't believe it. There's no way that's right. Until Taro says, yes, it is, Kijino. Kiji brother, it is. I promise you. Like, it is true. I, I've, I've seen it with my own eyes. She almost certainly is a, is a Juto. No, there's no way. You're lying. And uh, this time, uh, uh, Sour brother, uh, uh, uh speaks up and says no he's not and he's like well how do you know he's like because we all know when taro tries to lie ever if he ever even attempts to lie he dies is he dying right now you see him killing over he's clearly telling the truth so Siyoshi just like sits and just festers the whole episode pissed off at everybody anytime anybody says anything happy he's like shut up and he's all angry about it any, any kind of affection we'll get to that so um we go back and forth with the uh, other Noto trio now with Sonoshi, Sono Sonoroko, and uh, Sonogo or whatever. And uh, they're just going around causing havoc, you know, seeing them, you know, do their thing, whatever. And uh, eventually they try to hold a vote at the conference, right? So uh, it looks like Sononi, Sonoi, I want to say Taro, and uh, Haruka are in favor of it. But Sonoza, Siyoshi... Uh, Kijino and uh, Subasa are against it. And she even, like, Sononi even to get him to come back, come to her side as far as voting, tries to say, you know, oh, blah, 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 but I, you know, you helped me and whatever, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, I know, but it just, just I, I still don't trust you. I still, you know, you still lied to me and whatever. So it's the first time we ever see her kind of fail at trying to, like, beguile somebody, you know? Um, and she gets kind of upset about it. It's kind of sad, kind of funny to watch, honestly, to see her fail at getting someone to come to her side. And uh, what's his name says, Kaito says, you know, hey, just so you know, just like Haruka, you use a lot of Kiwi points to bring Sinoni back. So just know there might be a negative, you know, repercussion for that. 
really hoping we're not going to come out of left field and just kill them off in the end of the end of the series, or if they're going to make a joke like they're gonna and then they won't do it. I just hope they don't because it's just it's too much. Um, from the leaked episodes for the next episode, or leaked things for the next episode, it's looking like all it does is make it so that he, um, uh, so that he um, is like wanted again or something. But we'll see. Um, then of course, in walks Jin, who is uh, the uh, you know, Duntar's father, the administrator person, whatever. And so he comes in and uh, t- he talks to everybody. And it's cool because him and Taro never speak to each other once during this whole entire sequence, this whole entire scene here. But there's so much said that is unsaid by their body by their, their body language and things that they do for each other. He, Taro makes him a certain kind of tea. He says certain things about Taro, but never directly to him. It's clear that they're very much like, you know, not like... They care about each other, but that they very much so aren't as well connected as they used to be, and that there's a lot to like catch up on there. But he reveals that uh, they want to know how Sonoi got into the Jujo Forest. He reveals that Sonoi came to him, came to him personally, and asked for him to, a, a way in, and he allowed him in because he's the keeper of like the gateway between, right? Um, and so he let Sonoi in. So that's how we know that he got in. He also sees Kaito and goes, "True hero," and that's it. Like it's. <laughs> They're just, they're never going to do it. They're never going to explain it. So a bunch of bickering back and forth. The, the, you know, the votes at a stalemate, whatever. And then and Jen's like, well, I'll vote. And they're like, well, you're not really part of the team though. I don't really know why you're here. He goes, oh, you're right. And he leaves. And uh, in comes the Naoto trio, the, you know, the new ones, Sonoshi, Sonogo, and Sonoroku. They're like, what are you guys doing? Like what? Like we're causing like havoc and mischief all over town and you're not doing anything about it. And just before this, right around the time they voted, that one couple from a few episodes from like 39 or something like that, that was like... It was a guy and his girlfriend, and the girlfriend wanted him to like her because he was, like, all about other girls while he was with her, you know? Like, oh, but she's so cute, cuter than her. He does it again. He sees Sononi and, and, and Haruka and compares uh, his girlfriend to them. And so uh, she runs out of there, and he runs after her. She transforms into the change man Hitotsuki, I think, I want to say. Um, and he turns into Hitotsuki as well. And so uh, the... Um, New Nato Trio, the Neo, the Shin Nato Trio, if you will. Um, kind of like, well, we'll settle the vote. You know, if, if it's about, you know, you guys joining teams, you guys just should anyway to make it easier for us. And so they vote yes, the three of them, and they're counted in it. So it goes through, and now the Nato are fully joining the Don Brothers. Again, we don't know if they're going to get Don Blasters and, you know, uh, have like a full Don Brothers form. Like, you know, like I said, Sinoni sister, uh, Sinoza brother, Sinoi brother, whatever. But they're at least fighting alongside the team, which is super cool. Um, so they go outside, and they all transform, and they fight with uh, um, the new Naoto trio, but then also the two Hitotsukis, uh, to which Kijino uh, gets pissed off because the two Hitotsukis are clearly the, the, the couple, so they're saying lovey-dovey stuff back to her. He's like, stop it, shut up, and he goes and attacks her, and the guy uh, absorbs Tsuyoshi, and nobody reacts. <laughs> Nobody cares. They also, earlier in the episode, put him in this place where he tries to, like, speak up and act like an asshole. And, like, you know you turned him into, into a Totsuki three times, right? So, um, anyway, so uh, he gets absorbed by the girl, and nobody cares. and uh, Or by the guy, I think. And then, uh, right after that, actually, um, Taro gets absorbed as well. They do make mention of Jiro that he's just dealing with his stuff from last episode as far as finally realizing that all of his friends weren't real and then the whole Juto situation and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, so yeah, that's how we end the episode is they're finally fully a team now, but they, um, like, they decided to be a team um, to work together, but Taro got absorbed and so did Kiji Brother as well, but nobody seems to care about that. Uh Overall, a really, really good episode. I'm excited to see where things go. I like that we're sowing the seeds of last-minute little things that can happen in terms of the Kiwi points used to bring back Sononi, in terms of things about Taro and Jin, uh, stuff about Jiro coming up with next episode. It's supposed to, it looks like there's a more combined state of the two, of Feral Jiro and Normal Jiro. Um, supposedly Juto Jiro, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so I don't know if it means a new ranger form or not, but we do see them in the mecha footage. So I would assume maybe a, me- a, a combined ranger form. Who knows? Um, so there's that. And then, uh, what else is in the episode preview? I'm trying to remember a lot from it. Cause I just know there's, there's going to be a lot of ridiculous insanity. There's like a whole golden, uh, entirely golden form of, uh, Don Onitaijin Kiwami or whatever. 
So must be some power note for him. And it's cool because the episode is called The Don Brothers United. Or the nine, no, no, the, the Nine Don Brothers. That's what it's called. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Especially because that would mean that Jiro and Feral Jiro are one. Or else it would be the 11. <laughs> you know, or the 10, you know, Don Brothers. Uh, but overall, it was a really good episode. There's a really funny point when the Naoto, the new Naoto, Shin Naoto, come in and interrupt the uh, vote or whatever. And... They say something, and he, and and I think it's Son, Sonogo or Sonorogu, whatever his name, the one new guy, the one bodybuilder dude, um, and he like looks right at the camera and says something, and goes, <laughs> and he laughs, and then you hear a studio audience laughing back, tra- <laughs> a laugh track. <laughs> I don't understand the show. That's the beauty of it. I'm sorry. I know that it's like unlike any other sente we've ever watched we've ever seen so far and it's really like throwing tropes out the window and shooting them right in the head execution style but god damn if it's not entertaining the show is so entertaining and nobody in their right mind can try to tell me it's not it's one of the most entertaining scent i've watched in a while there's a reason it's already my number three and it's probably going to stay that way um but overall really really good episode probably give it a straight probably nine ish out of ten only because i was hoping for uh, a bit more, like, stuff about, like, you know, Kaito, if there was going to be anything with that. And just more, like, back and forth with the, you know, uh, Reformed Naoto and the Don Brothers. But overall, it's a really good episode. And I, just, I'm just I'm just pumped for, like, what's coming in the next few episodes. Um, as far as content this week, this will be one of the last ones for uh, those reviews or whatever. Um, clearly, next week, I'll have more for Geats and for uh, Don Brothers. Uh, if you didn't watch it, you can watch it um, archived on YouTube on the Henshins and Homies YouTube channel. Uh, we just recently had a stream t- entitled, I'm a Kamen Rider. Toku Cosplay is awesome. And also talking about our own individual uh, Kamen Rider Geats OC, like DGB OCs, original characters. Uh, complete with doing our own henshin poses and everything. So it was a lot of fun. We got we had uh, Metal Lucy or Kelvin on along with uh, 13th, Ge- uh, 13th Geek slash L or Eldritch. Uh, two really good friends of mine on Toku Twitter came on and discussed cosplay and how they got into it and their favorite cosplays and their fun stories and things like that. So it's a really, really good episode. You can also listen to it as a podcast audio only if you want to through anywhere you can get a podcast at that you can possibly think of. Um, but this one would be really fun, I think, for people to watch as a video. If you guys were actually go back and watch the archive stream, I think you guys are going to kick out of it. Um, but I really thank you guys for the support and the love, all that good stuff. I appreciate you so much. But... Uh, And thank you so much for subscribing, for commenting and sharing and watching. But until next time, stay hooked on heroes. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.